well and Eli's here but Eli is has a bad cough so we're gonna do uh, kind of a gut reaction we just watched Rebel Moon what is it Rebel Moon Child of Fire it's a new Netflix uh, movie this is part one um, this is like a I don't want to say an homage but it's definitely you're gonna go through it and say like I if you're anything like me you're like okay that is those are space Nazis. That's the evil empire. These are the people that are supposed to have lightsabers and Jedi powers. But anyway, um, so I liked it. What did you think about it as well? I thought it was really good. Definitely gave off Star Wars. Vibes. Yeah. Especially with like the protocol droid and, uh, they don't have like different astro medics. Like they don't it's not super droid heavy, but there are droids on it, but they, they kind of make all the robots into one kind of droid thing that I've seen yeah, so she far. It gives off the same vibe as Ray. Yeah. The one main character that you see. What is her name? Arda. So she has two names. Um, she's most often referred to as Cora, but then later on you find out that she has another name. Okay. Archelaus. Archelaus, yeah. So, I don't want to spoil too much of it, because I, I want you guys to watch the movie and tell me what you think. But, um, I think that has uh, potential. Um, obviously, Netflix has a lot of money behind them. And from what I heard, I, I googled to see who else had reaction to this video. And the one thing I did learn from the other video I watched, not to steal anything that guy had done. This other guy's name's Tyrone Magnus. I've never heard of him. But anyway... Type this in here. I didn't see anything up, but I just kind of wanted to give our kind of reaction to it in a little bit longer format. But um, I guess the movie was pitched to Lucas full film, which is Disney. They turned it down. So they had to kind of change the script a little bit. But yeah, if you like Star Wars, I think you're definitely going to like this. It does have a unique story. Um, I don't think there's anything like, oh my God, I didn't see that coming. It's definitely not made for kids, um, but, uh, you know, we'll see, uh, how it works in the whole, whole scheme of things. Um. It definitely takes several storylines from Star Wars, so. Yeah, it yeah. It hundred percent. Between lost children and. Yeah. There's a. to be warriors and all of that, it's. Yeah, there's a good, there's a, there's definitely, like, a clear, like, these guys are good, these guys are bad. Because at first you're like, huh. Um, so, when you start out, again, you'll learn this in the first 30 seconds. So, when you start out in the movie, they're on, a, like, a farming planet. You're kind of like, who is this, like, Ray kind of character? Like, who's the person that's supposed to be, like, you'll figure it out super quick. Um, bad guys come and demand, like they give them their, like, food, and then stuff happens, um, it's pretty action-packed, there's not a lot, he, uh, I guess it was two hours long, I didn't think it was two hours long, I didn't get it was bored, long. yeah, I didn't get bored, though, I'm glad they did a movie instead of, like, ten different episodes, and then we gotta wait a, a few months, and then we'll have the next one, it looks really good, it looks as good, if not better than, like, you know, a Star Wars movie, I thought. That looked pretty good. Um, they have, like, one big spaceship in it so far. But, like, you can tell there's probably other spaceships. And I haven't got all the the backstory down. I don't think this is based off a book or anything like that. Um, Zack Snyder is the one who is directing it. Uh, probably assisting producing, like, all that other jazz. So, I think it's, I think it's good. I think it's definitely worth watching. Um, not a, there's good acting in it, but it's not like, uh, there's no, no big names. yeah, there's no great big names. The one dude, um, that you s probably seen in the thing, he's played in several other things that Netflix has put on and I really liked, really liked him. He was, he was solid. Um, I think the robots are really cool in it, too. Yeah, the ones, the main one's name is Jimmy. Jimmy is the robot? Yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't realize they, 
they had names like that. Okay, cool. Um, hmm. But, um, yeah, I think for kids, I think you definitely want to be, I don't know, 12, 13 at the minimum, I think, to watch this. There's nothing, like, super bad that happens, but there's stuff that, like, there's not a there's, lot of blood and gore, no, but there's... But even in the beginning, there is an ideation of what could happen yeah, to a certain thing. It could have got... Yeah, yeah, that's what I was... Yeah, so, like, um, very... Not uh, sexually explicit, but, like, things could have gone... I don't think I have to spell out what I'm trying to say without trying to say it, but, like, yeah, it's... I I would, I would uh, caution anybody of that age, like, or if younger... Like, I don't think it's good for, uh, like, elementary kids to be watching this. Yeah, but. so obviously Eli's watching his, um, Tablet. Pig and yeah. Stuff like that. He doesn't watching. understand what's going on, but anyways, to a, to a certain age, that would probably not be good. There's not, there is, like, people killing each other, but it's but not, not. gross. It's, yeah, it's not a lot of gore. Yeah. You see, like, um, they do use blasters, and this is another thing I kind of, I com commented when I was watching the movie. So they, they have energy weapons, people, or people, um, shooting other people and making holes in other people, but there's not a lot of gore. And that's one of the things that Star Wars does really well. You're always like shooting like robots or mechs or stuff that don't have faces. Um, this one, um, the mechanics of the weapon itself, they, they have uh, magazines they jam in. Oh, I guess I got 72 Slayer. Nice. They have magazines that they jam in weapons, and then they fire the weapons, but the, they don't fire projectiles. They fire energy beams, which is kind of weird. Usually, what you do with those kind of weapons is you put a power pack in a, a weapon, and then pew, 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 you have lasers. But they chose to go something slightly different. Um, well, I guess, so I'm just now realizing this. Korra... Uh -huh. um, I guess has played in a previous movie, Star Trek Beyond, as Jalea. Cora is the. Jayla, or Jayla. Cora is the main character girl. Yeah. Okay. So she I don't, does have some. But she, they're not huge. They're it's not, not huge. like A listers. Yeah. It's not like they put Tom Cruise on the cover of it or whoever else, uh, Harrison Ford or something like that. Um, yeah. It's it's kind of interesting. I I uh, I watched it and uh, I'm trying to like figure out all the different like dig into the background to see like because there's a lot there's there's a story happening now but um I don't know probably a few decades ago there was like this royalty that happened and there was like a a coup of some kind it seems like and um they don't. They don't, they don't make you stupid as an audience. They kind of expect you to kind of like add stuff together throughout the movie and you don't get a huge big lore dump. And that's what I kind of like with movies. It kind of like makes you dig for it and go back and watch it. So it's definitely, it's, it's definitely worth watching maybe even a second time or some other people that I don't know. I, again, I don't think this is based on a book. I think it's just like, you know, a Netflix original kind of thing. So, um... But it's it's really neat. It's it's you know it's um, it's science fiction, obviously. But it's not like you start out on a you know on a planet they're planting crops and stuff, so that's kind of cool. And it it does it doesn't boom grab you at first. It takes like uh, fifteen twenty minutes to like figure out like who's who, and you actually you know care about some of these characters. Um, but yeah, there's definitely definitely a bigger story so i hopefully you get to see that and it doesn't get like tanked and they uh they bring out the second one when they're supposed to when did they say the second one was supposed to get here i read it and then it, i think it's like april so january february march so like four months away it part two arrives on april 19th 2024 so Oh, it does say PG-13. I'm saying, like, telling people, like, hey, don't let your kids watch this. It's it's right on there, parental guidance. With sequences of strong violence, sexual assault, okay, bloody images, language, sexual material, and partial nudity? 
Yeah, th- there was some. Yeah. Okay. Nothing. They Nothing. Focused on. Yeah, like um, I guess in the it was bar just, maybe. Like, background type thing. Okay. There is there is a bar, and there are some weird aliens in it, but they don't like. Uh, the the one guy talks to him that's kind of like creepy I guess language I didn't there was not much bloody images or language yeah a lot of the fighting is like super like you see like the impact or something but it's not like you're someone you see a little bit of blood not nothing squirting out of anyone yeah it's not like people no getting ripped apart in front of you yeah uh, oh partial nudity There, there's that there's one guy that's like you're he's always topless yeah yeah yeah, but it's not, um, there's no big, like, super, two hours and 15 minutes, I guess. Okay. When a ruthless force of the mother world threaten a quite, a, or a quiet farming village on a distant moon, a distant moon, a mysterious outsider becomes its best hope for survival. So, I mean, you could call this, uh, what is it? Uh, it's called Rebel Moon, Part One: A Child of Fire. So, like, it's not super difficult. You call this a New Hope, and you could basically change the name. To, it's, it's not the same movie. There's different stuff that happens, but um, you can yeah, but you the can army tell. Is called the Aperium. Yeah, they're space so Nazis. Like, I wanted to say that so bad. They're so they're so <laughs> they're definitely space Nazis. Like their uniform, they have like the death head and stuff like that. Yeah, they're, their uniforms gray they're, and they're like arrogant raced. Like they're all blonde, blue haired guys, you know. Um, they're pieces of crap, if I may. Um But yeah. I thought it was good. Um watch it. Um see I some... see how the rest of the story unfolds with the next one, like Yeah. Did the other girl die? Oh, like right. Like everyone thinks. Yeah, I don't know. Or, well, I don't, don't want to. Sp- I want them to watch. I don't yeah. want to spoil too much of what happened. But like, yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. It's, and it does get confusing when you're watching it. Like, like when they which call one is Cora, the? Yeah. Um, Scar Giver and uh, that Athelia or whatever. Yeah. Um. The one chick has like three different names at least. <laughs> So it does get a little bit confusing. Jumping back and forth. So, cool. Well, let me see how, how long is that. This is, it's about 13 minutes. That's a good, that's a good length to get YouTube, like, two ads in it. Let me know what you think of it. And uh, if this gets uh, a few views or comments or whatever, maybe we'll come back and make, a, like, a part two or something. Because I think this is going to get um, traction or whatever. I'm not, like, the big channel or whatever, but... I threw this, I Googled this, and nothing really came up apart from, like, um, you know, the, what do you call them? The teaser trailers and stuff like yeah. that. So, interesting. Definitely watch it. Uh, again, parental guidance for young kids. For most adults, I think it's it's totally fine. I don't think there's anything you have to really super worry about getting into. So, um, all right. Well, I'll see you. Oh, and by the way. 2046 get out there grind your stuff and i'll see you guys tomorrow okay you gonna say anything elijah no he's not gonna say nothing no not even subscribe what do you say like and subscribe no okay no. he says no sorry guys you don't get a lot he's not feeling good today so okay see you guys tomorrow